is Will. He fell in love with D. After meeting, the couple were upfront with one another about wanting an unconventional relationship. We started swinging about a year into the relationship since we've been together. We've slept with over 100 people. Online, people cannot understand their liberal approach to love. Spewing faces, how does it feel to know you're all going to hell? You guys are sick and need medical help. Will's mum is unaware that the couple are swingers and with their wedding coming up, they have decided to finally tell her. I think she's going to be a bit shocked. <laughs> So we enjoy the um, spicier things in life. I'm Will, and this is my partner Dee, and we're in a swinging relationship. Since we've been together, we've slept with over 100 people. We first met when I was bored one night and decided to log into Tinder. Um, <laughs> I matched with Dee that night and I sent her a gif of Joey from Friends going, how you doing? And it worked. It worked. <laughs> it was just instant attraction. He just blew my socks off. Will manages a cattle property. We've got about 600 head of cattle out of there. Dee takes care of the horses. They're definitely my thing. My occasionally have to feed them. <laughs> he just does all the heavy stuff. The dating scene is pretty average. There's not a lot of couples that do what we do out here. When we first got together, we made a list of all the things that we want to try. It's very important to keep a sex life active. So about a year into it, we decided to um, take the plunge. I signed us up to a website and a surprise D one night with a rendezvous. Basically, our only boundaries are we must be in the same room whenever we're playing or filming. We got into OnlyFans only about a year ago. We met a lot of people through swinging. We met a lot of OnlyFans uh, content creators. So we ended up actually kind of falling into it. It was one of those things that we figured we're doing it all anyway and filming it for ourselves. So why not make some money off it? So today we're going to be showing you where we hold swingers parties and where we film our content at home here. So we put up some lighting in the room. We just find it really sets the mood. There we go. So we have this, we put a bit of a sexy playlist on and we just have fun. And then from here, we put a blindfold on. You can do a bit of sensory play, you can go up the leg. It's all about the sort of different sensations and what you can do with it. This here is our swing. It can support <laughs> even me. Jump on in. <laughs> <laughs> For our wedding, we've decided to basically have a swings party afterwards because a lot of our friends are going to be, who will attend, will generally be swingers. The vanilla friends can go home and pass out and the kinky ones will keep on playing. <laughs> I'm going to be picking out the lingerie that I'm going to be wearing for our wedding night, which obviously is also going to be a massive swingers party. I've had this robe longer than I've had Will, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Big full length, sheer lace. They've literally still got tags on them, like I haven't even worn them yet. Just been waiting. I'm so excited. Worst judgment we get, well for me personally, as the male of a swinging relationship is I get put into the I'm a sexual predator, like I just want to have sex with every woman type of thing. You're forcing we, me into it. A lot of it comes from um, the small town that we live in. Once everyone found out, it became news and we get judgment from everyone, but we also get people coming to us and ask us how we do it. How do you bring it up to your partner? We started sharing our swinging relationship online pretty much when we started OnlyFans. Yeah. So this one here is basically our story that we film with friends, um, explaining how we met and stuff like that. Um, spewing faces, how does it feel to know you're all going to hell? You guys are sick and need medical help. Are you really going to throw away a lifelong partnership for a little fling? Can't make a, a housewife. I don't want to be a housewife. A lot of the positive comments and stuff we get are more so fire emojis and love hearts from other creators or other swingers that we know or that follow us. Um, and a lot of the negative ones obviously are people who have no idea who we are, um, no idea what we do and no idea about our relationship.
jealous as f and stuff like that. Probably the biggest doubts that people have raised, you know, they come from a place of wanting to protect us and make sure that, you know, what we're doing isn't going to cost us our relationship at some point down the line. There's a lot of people in the swinging community that are in it for the wrong reasons and it can be very toxic. So today we've got my mother coming around to reveal to her that we're swingers and we also do adult content. I think she's going to be a bit shocked. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be a bomb to drop. She's got no idea what we do. We've never discussed anything about it before. With the wedding coming up, obviously, she's going to meet a lot of people that we've um, slept with. <laughs> so what are you nervous to tell me? Because you look nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so we enjoy the um, spicier things in life. So you like swinging? Swinging, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of like realised that. I knew it was like even your Thailand photos I could tell straight away. Yeah. Like, And I think that there's no problem with that. I think you're 30, both 30 years old, we're nearly 30. Um, do what you like. But as long as my only advice is as long as you're both comfortable and as long as you're both into it. Um, as both and know your boundaries. We're also adult content creators and we make um, a good living off of that. Oh, from OnlyFans? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, was, I, mean, I haven't looked because I, I don't want to see you. <laughs> you I've seen on the link? <laughs> no, 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 no. But I would never click on the links and never send it to me. And I don't want to see your bare ass in any situation. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have no. an issue is if yeah. it went into the house no, with no. my grandchildren. We would never be exposing kids to no. that. Like, that's definitely yeah. not yeah. something like that. Because you don't know what people you're bringing into the house. At the moment, we're just kind of winging it. We can make a lot of money with it. And we did make the agreement at any point if it was too much mm. or one of us was unhappy that that would be it yeah. type of thing. So it's not going to be like, I'm dragging you through this. Yeah. Mm. That's, like that, I, because my concern that's is that you've mentioned money a few times. Don't let that be the only reason that you do it because oh, that's going to yeah, burn out real quick. It's just a benefit that we can travel the world and make money yeah. and sleep with you know, attractive, attractive porn stars. <laughs> If anyone judges our relationship, we just say, look, this works for us. We have fun. We're happy. We're healthy. We're enjoying life. Maybe you should them. do it too. <laughs> I've always believed sex is very important in a relationship. Keep it fresh. Keep it fresh. Like there's nothing worse than going home, having like that 10 minute little quickie before bed. Yeah, for the next 20 years of your life. Yeah. <laughs>